Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Jeremy's Kitchen. Well, it's dinner time, and I'm making a very special dish for me and my mother. Um, this is a dish that I saw recently on YouTube from Chef Mario Batali. Now, I'm adding an extra kind of shellfish to this, but basically it's the same thing. Today... I'm going to make linguine with mussels and clams. For this, I have the following ingredient. Those are our mussels, the black ones, and our clams. Garlic, extra virgin olive oil, crushed red pepper, tomato sauce, white wine, white Zinfandel, <coughs> parsley, and linguine pasta. Now our water is at a rolling boil. <coughs> Excuse me. I already uh, salted the water. So now we're going to add our linguine to our salted water. So we're going to let that soak in there for a bit. I'm also turning on the heat for our, uh, for our sauce. Now, the pasta is all the way down in the water. Now the package says 10 to 11 minutes. I'm going to set the timer for 9 minutes and 30 seconds because the, because the other minute and 30 seconds will be cooked in our sauce. I'm going to lower the temperature of, well, of the pasta water now. Okay, we are currently waiting for our pan to heat up and uh, then we'll get started on making our sauce. All right, guys, our pan is heated up. I'm gonna lower that a bit. I'm gonna add some olive oil. Lower it a little bit more. And garlic is in. Chili flakes. Give ourselves a little kick. Oh, good. Now, tomato sauce. In. Now, 
white wine. Parsley. Thank you. So now we are going to cover cover up our uh, clams and our mussels, and we're going to let that steam. Okay. So we currently have four minutes and 22 seconds until our pasta is ready. So afterwards, I will show you what the next step is. All right, guys, we now have 28 seconds until our pasta is ready. Remember, 30 sec. Um, once this goes off, I will drain the pasta, set the timer for one minute and 30 seconds, and then add it to our, our clams and mussels. 10 seconds, five seconds, three, two, one. Timer, one, three, zero. Kill the heat on the pasta water, take it over to my sink. Silly me, duck the calendar. Okay. Okay. Let us take a look at our sauce. Oh my. You guys need to see this. Take a look at our clams, uh, muscle and clams and saw. Wow. Okay. Put me down. Lower the temperature just a little bit more. Linguini is in. Mix up the pasta with the clams. Now, for this last one minute and 30 seconds, you want this just to uh, parashka, which is a nice little uh, Yiddish word for rest in the sauce and gather up all that flavor in, in the sauce. Timer is going to go for a minute and 30 seconds. Now, now, once that one minute and 30 seconds goes, then I want to add uh, one, uh, one more hit of parsley, one more hit of chili flakes, and a little bit more olive oil, and then our pasta is complete. Right now, you don't have to do anything. You just got to keep your eye on the pasta. Make sure that you mix occasionally. All right, we have 30 seconds. Oh. 
five seconds. Three, two, one. Now, parsley. Chili flakes in. And finally, one another hit of olive oil. Now, shut off the heat. Give it one last time on mix up here. Wow. Now I'm going to take our pasta to our counter on the right there. Wow. Okay. Come here, guys. I think you need to take a look at this. Linguine with mussels and clams. Okay, now I'm gonna plate up two separate portions. So, put you guys down. Now, that's one. Yeah. Now. That needs a little bit more clam. Mm. Okay. Wow. Come here, guys. Wow, this looks cool. So, take a look at our spaghetti with mussels and clams. Unbelievable. Okay, guys, yes, this is our dinner for me and my mom, but I feel I should try a little bit for you. I'm just gonna taste the pasta. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, there's a little bit of spice right there. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. The, the, the pasta is really soft and the sauce adds a creamy spicy texture to it wonderful 
All right, guys, this was our linguine with mussels and clams. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share, subscribe. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below. Until next time, this is Jeremy saying, Bon Appetit!